Pleasant Valley is one of Nanaimo's most underrated neighborhoods. Wanna know why? Keep watching. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rita and I help people relocate in and around Nanaimo on Vancouver Island. Today's neighborhood feature is Pleasant Valley. I'll let you know why I think this is a great location for families looking to relocate to Nanaimo and all the other features that make this community a great one. Pleasant Valley is a neighborhood located in the north end of Nanaimo, mostly on the west side of the Nanaimo Parkway, which is the new highway. It surrounds Brennan Lake and the area is known for its natural beauty and recreational opportunities. And as as I've mentioned in past videos, one of the first things you'll want to consider when moving to a new city is location. What's your lifestyle like and what matters most to you in terms of where you'll be living? Pleasant Valley is ranked very high on a quiet place to live as well as for schools and daycares, which makes it an ideal spot for families. Walkability is ranked a little lower. However, this is due to the fact that most nearby amenities are located across the highway in North Nanaimo, such as Woodgrove Center and all of the shops and restaurants I mentioned in this video. This also isn't entirely true as Metrail Drive has a nice network of large sidewalks and bike paths that will take you along all the shops in this area. This does provide an added buffer of safety for kids that are walking to school in this area, like the local elementary school, Pleasant Valley Elementary, located at 6201 Dunbar Road. The families that I know that have kids that attend here report that they're very happy and that the school is very safe with a lovely community feel. So circling back to location, in my opinion, the balance of having everything situated so close by but that you're still tucked away from the busier side of town is a huge bonus. Another great part of this neighborhood is Pleasant Valley Hall, which is a social center that you can rent space for for different kinds of events. In looking at the calendar of events for this month, they offer a wide range of activities such as martial arts, yoga classes, and different dance classes. And if you're looking for a fun night out not far from home, the local Black Bear Pub offers homemade Canadian cuisine with a relaxed atmosphere. I mentioned earlier that in Pleasant Valley, you'll find Brennan Lake, which is a recreational lake known for its RV park and campsite. It also has a boat launch and fishing dock. So if you're looking for a fun staycation with the family, this is a really great option. There's lots of wildlife to check out while you're here, including deer and birds of prey like owls and hawks. And besides Brennan Lake, if you're looking for some fun activities outside, you're very close to the Dumont mountain biking trails, which border Pleasant Valley and North Jingle Pot. You can also hike through these trails, but just be mindful of the bike paths. And if you are looking for a hike with an amazing waterfall at the end, check out nearby Ammonite Falls, which you can see for yourself in this video. Pleasant Valley is a fairly new community with most home builds here occurring during the 1980s. The median sale price for a single family detached home over the last 90 days in Pleasant Valley was $880,250. But there are also a good amount of condo buildings and townhouse complexes. These sold for a median price of $530,000 over the last 90 days. If you're looking to move to Nanaimo in the near future, I would not hesitate to check out the neighborhood of Pleasant Valley, and I'm always happy to answer any questions you have about this community and others. Now, before you go, if you could do me a huge favor and like this video and subscribe to my channel, and if there's a topic regarding Nanaimo that you'd like for me to cover, make sure that you leave it in the comments down below. As always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.